there's a huge spotlight on this case. Uh, the reason for the support is that people understand the dangerous precedent it would set. It, to extradite Julian means that you as a journalist could be extradited to any country that you write something unsavory about that they don't like. It is one of the biggest things that's happening in the world today. And I think it's ridiculous that he's not being act given access to the legal team. Gareth Pierce, uh, Julian's solicitor, said that since the last time that they talked to the court, they've had precisely two hours of contact uh, with their client. The idea was to actually be here reviewing evidence and for him to sign off on the very various bits of evidence that only he can sign off on that go into to the court bundles. The judge told them that because of the number of other prisoners in the court, that was going to be reduced to just one hour and it was clear I think from the judge's attitude which in previous um, uh, hearings has been distinctly unsympathetic that even she thought that this was an outrageous denial of proper preparation uh, of this uh, of this legal case. Julian's lawyer did say that it was on the brink of judicial review the, the fact that Belmarsh was limiting his direct access to his to his lawyers. 23 hours a day in solitary confinement, denied access to his papers so he could defend himself properly, sedated at times and persecuted psychologically after eight years in the Ecuadorian embassy. He is being tried in this court in a country we claim is democracy. It's a disgrace. He's a remand prisoner. He's, he's not serving out any sentence. Um, by keeping him in prison, uh, it is the UK aiding the Trump administration in, in his war against the media and the press. Uh, it's also the UK sending a message that it is okay to incarcerate somebody for the very same reasons that he has won many journalistic awards. I've known him for 10 years. I continue to see somebody who is diminished uh, physically and it's a grueling ordeal. There is hope. Uh, People can do things, they can write to their MPs, they can join grassroots movements, they can write and show their support to any of the NGOs that they particularly like and see a, a crossover. Uh, there's been a big swell of support amongst Extinction Rebellion and Greta Thunberg's groups. Julian and Wikileaks has published plenty of climate change uh, documents. That, that is the way to, to, to make a change. Tomorrow I'm going to be meeting the Queen <laughs> and uh, I wanted to hear what you guys wanted to get me to say to her. Free so, Free Julian Assange! Free Julian Assange! I will relay your message Free. to Her Majesty. Queen and Elizabeth! That is all I can say right Queen now. Queen Elizabeth! Thank you for Free coming. Free Julian Assange! <laughs> Thank you.